So in the last four, five years, we have received big influxes of Congolese. And because the, the number of people coming in has not matched the resources that we have available, it has been very difficult to meet the gaps in the water and sanitation provisions. Yeah, right now, the most urgent need as it stands is um, we need to increase the amount of water available. So at the moment, she has only one jerry can in her family of there are eight people, family size eight. They have one jerry can, 20 liters, which they use for both drinking water and other domestic activities. Diarrhea diseases is one of the leading, the leading causes of mortality and morbidity, really linked to hygiene and proper sanitation and inadequacy of water supply. We need to increase the, the safety of the water. This area here is a postnatal clinic uh, where mothers who are sick and those who have delivered uh, are attended from. But we have a limited uh, infrastructure, so we partially use it like on the days of antenatal, we can we petition and then we use part of it antenatal clinic. So mainly this place is for mothers who have given birth and those who come and uh, they are due, due for delivery. The babies, they usually sleep with the mothers like that one. Yeah, we don't have babies coaches. A month we can have like 85. Uh, in the neighborhood we need like delivery beds, we need uh, riots, these babies clothes, we need mama kids, we need uh, mosquito nets for pregnant mothers. Yeah, we need, uh, yeah, we need a lot of things. I'm here setting up the Computer Technology Access Program for Australia for UNHCR. There'll be 30 workstations here, as well as um, a number of refugee teachers who will be training to teach the rest of the refugees here at Nakavali. Part of the computer training will be a large segment of livelihood training. That's learning skills like touch typing, secretarial and office administration skills. Uh, we'll also be teaching them how to research online, how to learn and study online, how to, how to write up a CV and how to apply for jobs. Um, it's very exciting. We've got a lot of interest about this centre. For me, in my future, I just dream to be, I mean, <laughs> in my future, First, I have to study to find internet access. I mean, I have to be patient. Yeah, malaria accounts for about 40% uh, of all our out outpatient consultations. Uh, so roughly in a given day, uh, we see about uh, 50 patients with malaria. The most vulnerable groups to malaria infection are uh, under five children pregnant mothers and new arrivals because they are not yet immune to malaria. The top three needs for treatment of malaria in Nakifani are supplies for anti-malarial drugs, prevention in the community, early treatment and then prevention in the community and uh, finally uh, we need significant supplies in terms of bed nets, intravenous fluids, uh, blood giving sets, name it, in the treatment of severe malaria, but also there's a very big deficit in uh, prevention campaigns. You can see behind me that there are over 850 students here at this primary school. 
Many of the students are actually walking up to 10 kilometers to school each day here and back. As of now, uh, we are having nine classes for 836 students. And how many more classrooms do you need? We need five classes. These are the top five needs that the, the students' parents here have identified that they need help with. Mm -hmm. The first one is accommodation for the teachers. Mm -hmm. The second one is a library. Mm -hmm. Number three are more classrooms for the students. So the parents, they are trying to play a big role to make some bricks so that uh, we can construct extra classes and where uh, and the teacher's accommodation. I want to be a teacher. I want to be a nurse. I want to be a teacher. Journalist. Two teachers. Our sisters praise the Lord for having fed your plans. As you know, we have been waiting for you. So let the hope rise and shine more. So let the hope rise and shine.